this month's news, we're talking next-gen vision restoration with a sci-fi chip, the NHS taking eye care off hospital turf and onto the high street. And if that's not enough to make you blink twice, Cyclops Vision is doubling down on myopia-controlled data. All that and more on SideBite News, where eye care meets headlines with 2020 flair. Imagine telling your GA patients we're bringing your central vision back. That's basically what researchers just did with the Prima implant, a sci-fi sounding device that's now edging into clinical reality. This two millimeter silicon chip paired with smart glasses that beam near infrared light helped more than 80% of patients with GA improve their visual acuity at 12 months. Sure, there were a few post-op hiccups, but nothing the data safety board didn't blink at. The verdict, the benefits outweighed the risks. So while complement inhibitors still slow the fade, Prima might just turn the lights back on for GA patients. Now from cutting edge implants to cutting hospital cues, let's hop across the pond to the UK. If you thought the only thing you can get on the high street was a latte and a new pair of specs, think again. Starting this November, the NHS is taking eye care out of hospitals and into the community. The eight month program led by Primary Eye Care Services, the NHS Confederation and Q Community will help local teams design pathways so that conditions like glaucoma, cataracts and AMD can be managed closer to home. It's all part of the UK government's three shifts strategy, which translates into less hospital waiting rooms and more neighborhood clinics. And in myopia news, looks like Cyclass Vision is seeing double, double the data that is. At Academy 25 in Boston, the company dropped its 18 month results from the CAFE study. And let's just say the DOT lenses are holding their ground. Children wearing DOT lenses were 57% less likely to show myopia progression compared to just 15% in single vision lenses. The secret, tiny light scattering elements that lower retinal contrast. DOT is already available in Canada, China, and Europe, but still investigational in the US. There's some bright news for keratoconus care. Epion Therapeutics EpiSmart cross-linking system has scored FDA fast-track designation, meaning the road to approval might soon get a whole lot smoother. Unlike traditional EpiOff cross-linking, which literally takes the top off the cornea, EpiSmart keeps the epithelium intact. The EpiOn system is designed to strengthen the cornea without the pain, haze, or long recovery times. Even better, it allows simultaneous bilateral treatment, which could make life easier for both patients and practitioners. And finally, let's end this month on a more mindful note. The Foundation Finding Blindness is flipping the focus from the eyes to the mind. In honor of World Mental Health Day, they're hosting a free webinar for ECPs because managing vision loss isn't only about charts and fields. The session will dive into the emotional impact of retinal diseases and how clinicians can better support the whole person, not just their retina. So if you're ready to expand your toolkit beyond OCT scans and into empathy scans, tune in November 11th from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm Diana Chung, and that's a wrap for this edition of SightBite News. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay in the loop with more eye-popping updates on Mice TV. Got a juicy story or a hot take? Drop us a comment below.